Hi, my name is Kim Sun Tang. I'm a lecturer in the School of Pharmacy of Monash University, Malaysia. Today, I'm going to present my work on cerium oxide nanoparticles and Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a chronic neurodegenerative disease and the most common form of dementia in elderly. About 35 million people worldwide are diagnosed with the disease. This will be the outline of my talk for today. Progressive memory impairment and connective decline are the major symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. These symptoms occur because of the progressive neuronal loss in the brain as some of these neurons are associated with cognition and memory. The neurons are dying because of ischemia, excitotoxicity, and oxidative stress. The two main pathological characteristics of Alzheimer's disease are the presence of tangle-like structure in the neurons and the presence of signal or amyloid plaques in the brain. Alzheimer's disease is associated with the presence of amyloid plaques in the brain areas responsible for learning and memory. Sinai plaques are extracellular deposits of insoluble amyloid beta peptide. This peptide can interfere with synaptic plasticity as it can interrupt the long-term potentiation and long-term depression. Amyloid beta can also interfere with synaptic signaling as it can disrupt synaptic neurotransmitter release and dendritic function. To date, there is no cure for the disease. The current available treatments are mainly to treat symptoms associated with the disease. Alzheimer's disease is a costly disease. The financial burden of the disease is overwhelming for patients and their caregivers. Therefore, finding treatment to cure or at least to stop the disease progression is necessary. One of the potential candidates that I'm investigating is cerium oxide nanoparticles. This compound is also known as nanoceria. It is used as a catalyst for many chemical reactions in industries. Cerium oxide nanoparticles have very potent redox reactions and able to scavenge free radicals. Why am I testing this compound? Since Alzheimer's disease is associated with free radical induced neuronal degeneration, serum oxide nanoparticles may halt the disease progression. My aim is to examine the protective role of cerium oxide nanoparticles in Alzheimer's disease model simulated by exposing SHSY5 cells to amyloid beta. Amyloid beta is toxic and has been shown to cause death in many cell types, including SHSY5 cells. SHSY5 cells are human neuroblastoma cells. Amyloid beta treated SHSY5 cells are a popular Alzheimer's disease model for in vitro studies. Cerium oxide nanoparticles have been demonstrated to have potential antioxidant and anti apoptotic properties. Here, we hypothesize that cerium oxide nanoparticles can alleviate amyloid beta-induced death in SHSY5 cells. As for the study design, I have four experimental groups of 
culture SHS55 cells, namely the non-treated control group, amyloid beta-treated group, cerium oxide-treated group, and lastly, another group treated with amyloid beta and cerium oxide nanoparticles simultaneously. Cell viability was quantified using MTTSA. Just a bit of a background for those who are not familiar with this assay, MTT is given as an enzymatic substrate to quantify the amount of live cells. Live cells have mitochondrial reductive enzymes that can convert MTT into formazan product, which is purple in color. The more live cells, the more formazan product is formed, and the higher the absorbance reading you will get. Our results indicate that cerium oxide are not toxic up to a concentration of 400 microgram per mil. We also found that the cell viability was reduced to about 75% when treated with 50 micromolar of amyloid beta for 24 hours. Cerium oxide nanoparticles were able to alleviate amyloid beta-induced cell death in a dose-dependent manner. SHS55 cell viability was restored back to about 90% when the cells were treated with 100 microgram per mil of cerium oxide nanoparticles. At 48 hours, the cell viability reduction caused by the amyloid beta is slightly greater, which is about 70%. Even that, cerium oxide nanoparticles at 50 and 100 microgram per mil can restore the cell viability back from 70% to about 90%. Here, we demonstrated that cerium oxide nanoparticles are cytoprotective. Overall, our results suggest that cerium oxide nanoparticles could be potentially used for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Here is my contact info. If you are interested in any of this work as part of your postgraduate studies or as research collaboration, please do not hesitate to contact me. We can definitely explore this further. Once again, thank you very much for your attention.